Hey guys, what's up? This is the bull here. This morning, I am gonna clean out my uh, pond filtration system. And, um, as you can see, all this right here is just, just grime and dirt and um, it's, uh, stuff just goes, that goes through the filtration system. And it's just all loaded up in there. So I need to clean this out and uh, give the pond a nice little start for the uh, for the year. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, just take the whole stuff out because I don't wanna, I do not want to lose my, my rocks and gravel that I use to help filterate this filtration system. So I'll pour all, all, pour all this stuff inside my uh, my wheel barrel and then um, I clean all those rocks out, get them out, put them back in here and then put the filter back up on top of um, of the, uh, you know, the filtration bucket and uh, we'll, you know, we'll start it back up. But I, I'll, I'll bring it in closer and show you exactly how this looks over here. All right, give you all guys a closer look at the filtration system. Obviously, this is my seat to my bench. And then, you know, I build it so that I can lift the seat off. And then underneath it, I have the filtration system. Now, the the... From the pond this just right there you see that's just the hose that i got filling the pond back up now i i it, i do have a hole well you can actually see that little white right there that little white right there that is where the water will um pull from the pump from the pond and it'll come over here and it'll come out through the bottom there and make its way into the bucket and after it fills up and the filtration system catches all the the dirt that the pond pumps out, it'll go through that white little picket that you see back up there. And it'll go back to the pond over there where the rocks are. You can see a little picket sticking up there. Well, that little that little picket, I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna work on in the next couple of days, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring a lot of rocks in and I'm gonna build I'm gonna build it up, really build it up. And then up on top, up higher, I'm gonna build the basin where it'll fill up and then I'll just pour back through the rocks back into the pond just to give it a little something special to the pond. The good thing about this, I only have to do this once a year. And it's not bad, man, it's not bad. It only takes a little while there to get all these rocks out of here without breaking any of the um, the uh, PVC pipes that I have down at the bottom there. This is a pipe that I have that taps into the uh, the pipe that's coming in to the uh, basin of this this well the, you know the bucket I'm gonna call it a bucket because I can't figure out what to call it the big bucket in there and um, taps into it. Then this here has multiple multiple holes in it that the water seeps out through, and then gets trapped in between the rocks. And um, I have rocks in there. I have uh, biochar that I make from the, you know, from when I burn wood. I put biochar in there. 
And also then I put a uh, thick filter that I have in the ground right here. This big filter here, it's real thick. And I lay that up at the top so that'll trap any of the, uh, the, the debris and the dirt and stuff that comes off from the pond. And it works really well. Also, that uh, the shower that you have coming up here, that also has a little filter on it, so it helps helps clean clean the water. And obviously, it works well, right? To see all that all that dirt and grime, those are red rocks. Right? Well, you can see it's all black and muddy and nasty. I tell you, worms are a special creature. I They also just loaded with worms there. I don't know if they're red wrigglers or whatever they are, but there's a lot of the red worms in here. So, I don't know how they decide to make it into the pond filtration system, but they do. I just turned it on for a second so you could see. See the water pouring in there? So, works really well. And of course, I will get a lot of this uh, fish emulsion water here. I'll fill up about 20. 25 gallons, it, about five, about five, five gallon buckets or more, because this stuff is really, really filthy in, in, in fish poop.
All right, peeps. We'll be back in a few minutes when the uh, filtration system um, fills up and then I'll show it to you bubbling over there. Um, I took everything off, all the, the rocks and um, and uh, and the little pipe coming in, feeding into it, the PVC pipe feeding into it. Uh, let me show you here, actually. Yeah, I took this little piece off that would sit right from the feed coming in there and then that would, this right here would pour out and trickle into the pond. But what I want to do, what I want to, what I want to do is, um, I want to put a, a, a taller PVC pipe. Then I'm gonna um, come up with some gadget. I don't know, some type of uh, thick, real thick PVC pipe. Fit it, fit it right in there. Cement it in. Make sure it's caulked really well with uh, waterproof cement and um, I'm gonna bring it up. Then I'm gonna build some rocks around it coming up. Looking really cool with rocks and all that. Then up on the top there, I don't know, maybe three feet up or whatever, I'll build, I'll build it out like, and I'll make a basin. Basin, so then when that pipe comes up, fills up into the basin, um, then that will trickle down all the rocks. And it'll, you know, I think it'll look cool, you know what I mean? So. That's that. That'll be uh, the next project following this here with the pond. Okay, so let's wait a few minutes and and let this fill up, and uh, so I can show it to you coming out through the uh, through the little picket down there. All right, so so if you enjoyed um you know the the, the video, um, if you do have a little pond out in your yard and whatnot. You want to decide to make a little pond in your yard here. Now this pond here is 11 feet long by I think seven and a half feet wide. So you know it's a decent size little pond. And uh, you know over time I you know put plants here and there and it just looks like a natural little little pond. Now um, if you want to do something like this, like you want to build a little pond and you're having problems, you know, keeping it clean because you know they're, they're you know. Having ponds is a lot of maintenance. You got to really uh, put a lot of work into it and that to uh, keep them looking copacetic. You know what I mean? So I try to keep mine as clean as possible. I mean, you know, I can see the fish. The pond looks good. You know, got nice plants around it. The wildlife come here and uh, the, the birds have a place to come and drink. Uh, turtles come and visit the pond. Tons of frogs. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know what I mean? And um, what else is going on with it? I, it uh, I did have a, an attack with a, 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 a heron. A blue heron came and, and killed a lot of my um, koi fish. I mean, really big, big koi fish. And it, it hurt a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, put more koi in there. There's a lot of goldfish in there. And the goldfish multiply. So that would be cool, you know what I mean? They have goldfish, you have the frogs eating the goldfish, and uh, just, you know, a cycle of life. So um, that's it. I don't think I'm going to buy any more koi fish. I just kind of, uh, kind of, I don't want to cover it. That's the reason I don't want to get koi fish again, because I don't want to cover it. I want it to look natural. And for it to look natural like that, I just don't want to put netting and all that kind of stuff over it. Um, and then that just create more work. So if I, if it, if it's, you know, if it ends up being all frogs, it ends up being all frogs. It's still a pond. It's still, it's still nice to come out here, sit here, meditate and have a good time with that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not definitely not gonna cover it. Um, definitely not getting no more koi fish. Uh, they're too expensive to, to buy and to watch grow. I mean, those koi, they were like this big. If you go buy a koi fish this big, at, at one of the uh, fish places where I go get them, the seven, eight hundred dollars, like this big, the koi fish. So you know, of course you're never gonna buy them that big. I, you know, I, I I ain't got the money to be buying eight hundred dollar koi fish. So I, you know, I buy the koi fish. They're like twenty, thirty dollars, and um, sometimes you can get them on special. You go some places, you might find, you know, buy one get one free. So. But definitely not buying more koi fish. I'm just gonna have the goldfish in there and um, 
and I'm I'm happy with that. So after after that, my um, I think who was it? I think it was my um, it was my son. I think from um, from Boston, out 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 to further notice. He told me to to get a statue of a of a dog or a cat or whatever, and I and I happened to have one, but I didn't have it over here. So he told me to move it near the pond. And so I got it right over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's sitting up on that uh, uh, piece of wood that I put there. And I got an owl over here on this side here. So hopefully now with those two creatures right there, uh, the blue heron uh, will think twice about coming to visit the bull's pond there to eat his fish. All right. So let's see. Okay. I see it now. I see it. It's starting to trickle up. So I'm going to let it bubble up a little bit more and then... Um, I'll show you where we're at. And I'm going to take this back off so you can see it's filled up and and show you where the water's coming out from. The goldfish are cool. I mean, the goldfish, I put the little goldfish in there. You know, they don't cost nothing. You know, their little feeders. And now some of those koi fish, I mean, uh, some of those goldfish are uh, like yay big in there and they're real fat. And they're, um, you know, having, um, I started off where I think I had like four or five. And I think there's like, there's more than a dozen goldfish in there now. So, you know, they're, they're multiplying. All right, so this is pumping away, so let me show you. All right, so that's where it, that's where it comes back to, and um, it's, it's feeding back into the pond with that little uh, PVC pipe that I was showing you, and it was you know trickling over the rocks because I had the rocks there and whatnot. But um, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to build something up really high with the rocks and put a, a water basin up in the top and um, have it trickle down there just to give it a little uh, little nice look to the pond the, oh there's the owl right there mean mug right so um all the plants right now are kind of you know in the dormant stage down there and once all these uh plants start coming back up again the pond looks very 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 attractive and that plant back there will turn yellow and it'll just be cascading the little yellow flowers over it. The comfrey will be growing around the pond. Uh, the cherry tree over there will be cascading over it. It's a nice looking, it's a nice little pond. It's a nice little spot. I don't know if you can see that it is filled up with water now. And it, um... It'll feed back in to that pipe that feeds back down there. So, actually, let me, let me get a little closer there. So, might as well get closer here and kind of... All right, so you see it's filled up with water now. And it will... Right there. Feed back in and feed back to the pond. All right, guys, so thank you for tuning in with me. God bless you. Um, so that's that's a project. That's one project that, that was done for the day. So if I don't choose not to do any more, I'm feeling really good. I accomplished one task for the day. Um, knowing me, that's just the beginning of my day. Um, why go in the house and be cooped up when you could be out in your garden having a great time? So... Y'all take care. God bless.